We said we'd walk to school together, and she just up and leaves while I'm still asleep. Dad, Mom, Ken, and Nana, wish me luck. I'm gonna give it my all. I won't lose to any of these Imperials! Not bad. I simply need more experience. Despite all the battles we went through yesterday, he was never short of breath. The Eight Leaves One Blade School. It's impressive to be sure, but nothing compared to what Father Mueller and Uncle Zex can do. I suppose the Ashen Chevalier simply relies on the power of his Divine Knight. Good morning, Yuna. I take it you're headed out as well? I yeah. Are you all done with your training? It's pretty impressive how you do all that every single day. Well, it's something I've been doing from a very young age, so it's just part of my morning routine. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry about before. Huh? You know, when I slapped you, I know it wasn't your fault, and I shouldn't have gotten so angry. It was childish of me. Ah, that. I'd like to apologize, too. But have you been wanting to say that for the past two weeks? Considering how much you dislike Erebonians, it's very thoughtful of you. Uh, I don't dislike the people here. Yeah, I've caught my problems with the country, but this is between people. When I mess up, I make sure I apologize. Uh, especially considering what I said about your swords. I mean, you practice every day, and... Ah, right. And they'll be way more useful than a couple of weapons as old as the Great Collapse. Don't worry about that. Besides, like I said, my training is just part of my morning routine. Out of curiosity, is everyone from Crossbell like you? Huh? Like me, how? Oh, I don't mean to offend. Very straightforward and good-hearted. Probably the type to be easily tricked. Hey! Wanna run that by me again? Like I said, I don't mean to offend. I'm glad to have a classmate like you whom I can trust. Though I don't know if I can trust your skills just yet. Uh, you're a real piece of work. <laughs> well, let's start over. Glad to be your classmate, Kurt. Hello, you two. Good morning. Uh, Altina? I thought you left for school already. I received a routine status call early this morning. I didn't want to wake you, so I took it in the study room. If I disturbed you as I was leaving, I apologize. No, I was out like a light. But wait, what do you mean, routine status call? Sorry, that is confidential. Well, in any event, it's nearly time to head to class. We're all in the same class anyway, so why don't we walk together? I do not mind, but I believe the correct term for my presence would be a third wheel. Judging by what I've seen, 
Your relationship has progressed. A our relationship? What? No, that's not what's going on. She certainly words things in a distinct way. Leaves is such a nice place. I can't get enough of this homey atmosphere. It's so peaceful and laid back. And it's got some great shops. Agreed. It's a good halfway point between rural and urban. We're just the right distance away from Heimdall. The previous owners of this land were a noble family. After they lost ownership of it, the government attempted to convert it into a resort. However, that plan fell through. It's said the half-finished buildings from that were used to create the campus. Well, you sure do know a lot. I suppose that explains why the branch campus is so large. All that aside, I didn't think the Empire's military academies would be this tough. I get combat training and practical exams, but math, history, even art? Isn't this workload way beyond what you'd have at a regular high school? Well, here in Erebonia, the pen and the sword are both held in high regard. Especially at Thor's. It's a prestigious, traditional school founded by our most notable emperor. That legacy won't change simply because this is a branch campus. However, it seems the main campus has changed significantly this year. Ah, yes. Huh? I don't get what you guys are talking about, but looks like we're gonna have to give it 110% here. Let's kick all the other classes' butts! Well, if you say so. However, most of our lessons are held with the other two classes anyway. Homeroom is the only one we have without them. Oh, right. I guess it makes sense given the small number of students, but that means class 7... Well, well. If it ain't the chosen ones, strutting off to class together. You're... Um, I think he's in class 8. Good morning. Is there something we can help you with? <laughs> nope. Not a thing. Just wanted to get a little peek at the class taught by the hero of Erebonia. Class 7, huh? I'm sure the view is just great from up on that pedestal of yours. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint, but we're being treated the same as any other students. Yeah, it's not like things are going to be different for us just because our instructor's famous. Oh yeah? Then why'd they go out of their way to make such a small class? A little kid who's clearly too young to be here. Some rich pretty boy with fancy hair. Oh. An allowed, unruly foreigner from some sob story country. Oops, <laughs> my bad. Not a foreigner anymore, huh? <laughs> All right, we understand. You're a tough guy. But that's quite enough. If you have more to say, I'd be happy to talk with you further. After school. <laughs> Not bad. You've got more spine than I gave you credit for. But the one I've got business with is... <laughs> I'm so happy to see everyone getting along. Oh. She's from Class 9, Military Finance. Hmm? Good morning to you all. The weather is just splendid, isn't it? But if you spend too much time out here chatting, the bell will ring before you know it. True. You all done messing with us? <laughs> Me? I'm not here to mess with you. Well then, see you around! <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely day. I'll see you again for the classes we have together. <sighs> What's that blonde guy's problem? I can't believe they let some punk like him into a military academy. He obviously had some issue with those of us in Class 7. No, not us exactly, but... 
Oh, shoot! We better hurry, or we'll be late to homeroom. You're right. Let's get moving. Whew. Hard to believe it's been two weeks already. <laughs> it warms my heart to see all the students trying their best. The classwork here is much more difficult than at the main campus, so I'm sure it's tough on them. Yeah. Then on top of that, training exercises were added onto their curriculum. We didn't have anything like that at the main campus. Thor's Branch Campus. I think I'm starting to understand what the government's trying to do here. Oh, but I don't think that's the only reason for this place. In keeping with Thor's tradition, We'll also have those days to look forward to. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be a relief for them. I'll tell my students about them after school, alongside the club announcement. Got it. Thanks for taking care of that. Well then, Instructor Reen, let's give it our all today. Likewise, Instructor Toa. This is the formula. You will need it when calculating trajectory. Make sure you commit it to memory. This is known as Gross Domestic Product, or GDP for short. By the way, the GDP of the Empire of Erebonia rose 42% last year compared to two years ago. Today's task is walking. Sounds easy, right? Well, let me tell you, it won't be. We'll be marching, so I need to see perfect posture and formation while armed. Even combat tactics got worn out by this. The War of the Lions, said to be the largest turning point in the history of the Empire. The end of this war brought us to our modern era. Today, we'll be looking into the events leading up to the war that caused it to develop the way it did. <sighs> the way he explains it, it's actually pretty easy to understand. Hmm, an interesting perspective. Oh, I see. I'm actually learning a lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's so dashing.
Stand, bow.
This one's on me. Wow, thank you so much.
Yes! Thanks! Thanks. Yes. Thank you.
Well, well, if it ain't Instructor Schwarzer. You're... he's from Com... Seeing you work so hard is really inspirational, you know? Ash Carbide. I'm in Class A, Combat Tactics. Looked like you were really going out of your way to help all us students. You're just a stand-up guy, ain't you? Guess I should have expected that from you. After all, you are a national hero, Ash and Chevalier. <sighs> I'm just a new instructor who's fresh out of school himself. I've heard about you from Instructor Randolph. Sounds like you've got some pretty impressive skills. It's good to meet you, Ash. I'm sure I'll see you in some of my classes and during training exercises. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. By the way, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. How's it feel, flying around in your big gray doll, being the government's lapdog? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. Hmm? One of the girls from military finance. Her again. Hello, Ash from Class 8, Instructor Reen. You two seem to be having so much fun chatting, I couldn't help wanting to join in. <laughs> I was just about to leave. I'm looking forward to Panzer Soldat training next week. How about you? What does he mean by that? Oh dear, did I interrupt something? Oh, no. Not at all. Hmm. You're from military finance, right? That's right. I'm Yusei Egret from Class 9. Do you remember me? I'm in your fourth period history lessons. Yeah, I remember. I've heard about you from Instructor Toa, too. We're not that far into the school year, but it's already clear you're an outstanding student. <laughs> You're making me blush. To tell the truth, I've heard rumors about you as well, Instructor. I've always thought it would make me so happy if I could get to know you better. I see. Well, I'd recommend taking those rumors with a grain of salt. Hmm? Oh, I don't mean all that gossip about the Ashen Chevalier. The rumors I've heard are about the old Class 7, your sister, and even the princess. What? <laughs> well, I should be going now. Good day, Instructorine. I hope we have a lovely school year together.